can I clear out the house before I start probate? Hmm. Gosh, if, if you just had somebody pass away, they left the house with all their stuff in there. Can you start clearing it out before the actual probate starts? It's a, it's a little bit of a risk. I have to, I have to just, I mean, you need to know it's a little bit of a risk if you start doing that. So are you comfortable assuming the risk? Here's the rule. If you are the person who is going to be the executor, right? You're named in the will. Maybe you're the only heir. Um, don't, but don't, those only two options. Or maybe you have siblings and everybody is saying, Francisco, you're going to do the job. You're going to be the executor. If it's clear cut and you are going to be the executor, then anything you do on behalf of the estate before you're actually appointed, it's okay. You're allowed to do it. Just make sure you do it with the best um, in the best interest of everybody in mind so that you're basically taking care of it on behalf of the estate. You're not thinking like, oh, ooh, I really like that TV. That one's going to come to me. I like the furniture. I'm going to take the furniture and I like the, you know, nope, 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 nope. You're treating it absolutely fairly. You're making sure I, I would document, you know, nowadays we've got these really cool things called phones that we can take pictures and document stuff very easily. I would document as much as you think you need to, or more than you think you need to. If you never need it, great, but document what is given away, what is sold, what is maybe donated. And then you can have that if you ever need it. If it's not a clear cut situation, right? If you're not the only heir, if you don't have a will that names you, or if everybody doesn't agree on who should be in charge, I, I, the only thing I would clear out of the house would be food or other stuff that's going to spoil and, and just, you know, cause problems. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything. I, me personally, I wouldn't take that risk. I would go in, I would clear out the fridge. I would, you know, look around and make sure there is no uh, other food that's going to spoil or attract ants or anything else that's going to cause damage, deal with. But if it's not going to cause damage by sitting there, I'd let it sit until that gets resolved because it's just going to come back to bite you.